Welcome! We're excited to provide you with a device this year to make learning more engaging and more connected. This device will open a world of possibilities to each and every one of you, but it's up to you to make smart choices when online. It's our goal here in District 203 to not only make learning more accessible and interactive and collaborative, but also to create educated digital citizens. We expect all of our students to become good digital citizens. But what does it mean to be a good digital citizen? To be a good digital citizen, we have to understand the rules and expectations to live in a community. This is like how kids in the classroom understand getting along and being kind to each other. So a good digital citizen understands and follows the rules in the digital world? Yep, when you're on an iPad, Chromebook, or laptop using the internet, you are spending time in the digital world. And to be safe, you need to follow the rules. That is right. These rules keep you safe and make the digital world a nicer and safer place for everyone. I know what a digital citizen is, but why should I care? Actually, it's super important because it's a way to prepare technology users, like us, to protect ourselves while working online. Did you know that whatever you say online and all the pictures you might post live forever and will follow you sort of like footprints in the sand? People will know where you have been and where you are heading. Right. Digital citizenship also makes sure that we are respectful and responsible while online. It helps us to provide a digital footprint that we can be proud of even later down the road. Let's talk a little bit more about your digital footprint and the idea that anything you do online leaves a trail and follows you. The next time you're posting something on any social media or submitting something for a class, consider just how far the internet reaches. Whether you make a comment or post a picture online, it stays in the digital world. If you realize that, perhaps you made a mistake, you can try to remove it from the sites, but the fact is, if it was already read by others, remnants of that post remain. Realistically, anything posted on the internet doesn't just stay on your profile, it spreads, making it impossible to retrieve. It is important to understand the impact of your digital footprint. The trail you leave may follow you forever. You know, that reminds me of the THINK acronym. Oh yeah, THINK represents five questions you should ask yourself before posting something online. T, is it true? H, is it hurtful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? And K, is it kind? It helps remind us of what we should think about before we text or post anything online or in social media. It's a good thing to consider, especially since once you post something online, it's there for life. Another way of thinking about digital citizenship is thinking about the rings of responsibility. I remember that. It looks like a bullseye with the center ring being self, the inner ring being family and friends, and the outer ring is community. The rings remind you that there are digital citizenship rules for each of these important areas of our lives. That is right, and we start with the center ring, self. How do you keep yourself safe online, do you know? Don't give unnecessary information about yourself online, like your full name, address, and phone number. Never tell anyone your password. A password is a secret, and we need to keep it safe, even from friends. The center ring is more important than just keeping yourself safe. It is also about building a positive digital footprint or reputation. To do that, you have to be careful about what you post. Make sure you only share comments you are proud of. Don't write things that are mean or would embarrass you or someone else. Do you know what the second ring, the family and friends ring, is about? The family and friends ring reminds us not to share information or pictures of friends and family without their permission. I like that ring because I would be mad if my friend posted a picture of me without asking. My mom does that all the time and I don't like it. Sometimes I have to remind my friends about keeping their password cards covered up. I think looking out for friends and family is also what that brings about. Yeah, my teacher is always reminding us just because you can post something doesn't mean you should. The outside ring is the community ring. That ring reminds us to treat others online as we would like to be treated. A lot of people forget that because they don't see the faces of people online. They forget that they can hurt people's feelings or even their reputation. The community ring also reminds us that we need to stand up to bullying. When people are purposely being mean to others, you need to show others that you don't like it and don't support that kind of behavior. Your generation is considered to be digital natives. You can't remember a time without the internet, and it continues to become even more powerful. Your new device will transform learning. You'll have access to more information more frequently. Collaboration with peers will be easier than ever before. Powerful tools exist to push creativity to new levels. Technology will make it easier to be self-directed community contributor. Remember the keys to being a positive digital citizen. Think when engaging online. Respect yourself and others. Protect yourself and others. And continue to grow as digital citizens. 
Throughout your career here in Naperville 203, you will continue your digital footprint. This footprint includes all of your actions online, ranging from posts, photos, to projects. Consider all the possibilities. What do you want your digital footprint to be?